Menopause sucks. Symptoms can affect physical, sexual, and general well-being. Most women report that hot flushes are the most bothersome with at least 10% of women reporting them as intolerable. And this affects 70% of menopausal women. But what treatments are currently offered? Hormone replacement therapy is an effective treatment but has an increased risk of breast cancer, blood clotting, and stroke. Alternatives are less effective, which can include air conditioning, herbal remedies, and weight loss. Researchers have attempted to look for better options. The best place to start is understanding the mechanism that drives hot flushes to occur. Recent evidence in mice and human studies show that a hormone called neurokinin B, also known as NKB, was involved in producing hot flushes. These neurons were in the hypothalamus of the brain. And, postmenopausal women had enlarged hypothalamic neurons and had increased NKB and neuronal activity. In another study in healthy premenopausal women, injection of NKB induced hot flushes. Then, someone thought of the idea that blocking NKB with a chemical could significantly improve hot flush symptoms. This drug appeared to provide rapid results. By day 3 of treatment, women taking the drug reported a 50% lower number of hot flushes than the group that did not take the drug. The drug also reduced the number of disruptive flushes during the night and severity and distress of hot flushes also decreased. Later on, other studies also noted improvements in sleep quality and productivity. No serious side effects have been reported to date. But this is not the end of the story as drugs need a lot of rigorous testing before they are used. Larger studies are needed to test for long-term effects and any associated dangers. I am Carmen and thank you for watching.